This week we have a lot of going on. We will be doing some painting, of course, and also we will be doing some decoupage papers for the first time. The entire reason I'm doing this video is because I saw a decoupage paper that reminded me of my mom. It brought back so many memories and I had to have it. I'm also going to try some Would You Band products for the first time. There is a lot of going on in here and I definitely made some mistakes along the way. Let me show you how I did it. I started with this old dresser I got for cheap. I needed something flat like this for the project so it was perfect. I'm adding this basic hardware as soon as I remove the old hardware. I am adding it immediately because I want to paint over it. For my base color, I'm using Dixie Belle Coffee Bean. It's a dark brown and it will be our base that we're going to layer over. only adding one coat of this because we're going to layer and blend lots of colors over this. For the next part I'm using four colors. Palmetto, Carnel Mustard, Chocolate and Coffee Bean. I started with chocolate around the border. Then I used coffee bean to blend the chocolate. Then inside of that I used palmetto green Then on the very inside I used my yellow. Once I had all my colors laid down, I started blending them all together. I'm using water and paint. This process has no real rules. Get this balance however you want it. I kept blending and layering till I liked the transitions.
ended up here. Then I did the same to the top, sides and to the front. The same process. Once that was done, I was ready to do the decoupage. I saw this one by Mean by Michelle online and I had to have it. I grew up looking at my mom's frame every day in Serbia when I was younger. It reminds me of Serbia and brings back lots of wonderful memories of my mom. I'm using Dixie Bell clear coat as my glue for this. You want to start at the top and have your drawers flat and even. I'm also using some plastic wrap in a ball to press down on the paper. Place it down and use the plastic wrap to carefully take out air bubbles. You can do this two ways. Like this, we will have these lines behind, which I wanted. It gives it more of a vintage feel, and I wanted that artistic, vintage, dark look on my piece. But you can also do this with an iron method and make it wrinkle-free. It's totally up to you. I work fast and measure with my eyes. I ended up putting picture a little bit to the left, which I find out later. You should always take your time and measure. Measure twice, cut once. We say that in Serbia. I worked my way down doing the same, drawer by drawer. It's actually really easy to do and I love the look we can get with it. Once I got it all on there, I went around trying to remove any air pockets left behind. I let that dry for 24 hours and then came back with a blade to cut the drawers. Then I use some 120 sandpaper to get those edges smooth again. Also used some Dixie mud to cover the holes to old hardware left behind. And now for the wood you bend. We're going to need some wood glue and a heat gun. You can also use a blow dryer for these two. It will just take a little longer. Would you bend is super cool details you can add to anything, including furniture. You heat them up and they become soft so you can mold them to anything. 
and a little glue and you are done. It's that easy. It was at this point I realized my decoupage paper was a little off to the left. My entire circle was really off and we had to take it all off. Like everything had to come off. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, when you do measure that happens. <laughs> Luckily, we cut it in time and we were able to remove them. We then laid the dresser down and dry fit the pieces first. Again, take your time and measure. Something I need to tell myself, really. Not to anybody but me. Once we had them laid out, it was pretty easy from there. Just glue them in place. I did cut a few pieces where I needed to with a blade. I also let it dry overnight, adding some weight to it with some paint cans. The next day, when it was dry, I sanded the parts I had to cut. Now it was time to paint the front the same way I did to the sides and the top. Same colors, but I took more time here because I had to move everything a little right. Remember, I glued my picture to the left, so I used paint to balance everything out as best as I could. I also used moonshine metallics on the details. I ended up only using a gold digger on the wood you bent and some of the details of the dresser. Here is something I like to do with all the brushes. Cut them and use them as wax brushes. I'm adding just a bit of their old gilding wax over my moonshine metallics. This gave it that extra pop of gold. Anytime you want to remove some gilding wax, just use mineral spirits. 
thumbs off, super easy. And now we can finally seal the piece. I'm using the same clear coat I use for decoupage I'm using for protection. I already had it laying around and I always wanted to test it out as a sealer. I like that it's flat and I wanted to keep my dresser flat looking. I didn't want any shine. And we're done. Wow, like, what a project. <laughs> This was definitely a long process, but I did this dresser in memory of my mom and I know she would have been so proud of me if she could see this. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.